Hi you guys, I'm Jamie from Whatever's Clever Boutique and I am so excited because today I am going to show you guys this gorgeous layered floral leopard tumbler. It was initially inspired by a tumbler I saw from Suzanne Renaud quite a while ago and it was absolutely gorgeous so I kind of put my own twist on it and I hope you guys love it. First, we're going to start with the prepped and sanded 30 ounce skinny tumbler from Craft Haven. We're going to spray paint in kind of a vertical stripe pattern with scuba and splash from Color Shop Paint. We're going to let that dry and then go straight in with a little bit of epoxy. Now, you don't want too much epoxy here, just enough to adhere the glitter. First, we're gonna take Bifrost from Peachy Olive Glitters. Now, this is gonna kind of show a little bit of the blue through the glitter itself. It's an opal. Now, I mean, kind of in hindsight, you didn't necessarily need to use two different blues, but they definitely pulled a little bit differently. The darker blue almost pulls like a yellow green, whereas the light blue pulls more of a lighter blue undertone. And Bifrost doesn't have a fine cut glitter in it. It's just a chunky glitter itself. So we're gonna take a piece of parchment paper and wrap our tumbler in it and kind of smooth it all around so those pieces will lay flat for you. This will make things a lot easier when you go to apply your epoxy. Then we're gonna go on with Bright from Peachy Olive Glitters. This glitter basically, all it's gonna do is fill in any of those spots that the Bifrost didn't cover so you don't have any paint showing through. With two coats of epoxy. Now we're going to take this transfer sheet from Southern Belle Glitter. I believe it's called the Suzanne Florals and we are going to use this really pretty floral bundle here on the bottom corner. Now before I remove the backing I'm going to kind of lay it out and position it to see where I want it to go and once I figure that out I go ahead, remove that backing, and it's very sticky. You wanna be sure not to touch the transfer part itself with your fingers. I'm gonna lay it down, smooth it out, and then take this little burnishing stick that comes with the transfers and make sure it's burnished really, really well. I kinda of peel up to see if it's fully stuck. And I saw a little bit was still there, so I kept kinda of going around and then finally slowly removed it. Now I'm gonna add a couple more elements from the sheet just to kind of fill in the space a little bit better. So I took that cute little yellow flower and some of the leaves and just applied them around to make the floral bundle a little more full. Transfers can scratch pretty easily, so instead of going in with my nail for some of these, I use my little precision tip um, tweezers to pull up that backing sheet so I didn't actually scratch the transfer that was already down on the cup with my nails. Here is my end result. I got this amazing layered leopard print file from Bear Trend Designs on Etsy. And I cut the center part of the leopard spots with this really pretty rainbow kind of glittery looking vinyl. And then I cut the outer part of the leopard print in just a plain black. I have the rainbow part of the leopard print on my cutting mat so it doesn't move when I go to layer these two. And I'm gonna take my transfer tape and put it over the top of the black portion of the leopard print. 
you want to make sure that it's really well pressed down so when you go to lift this uh, backing off of the vinyl that it'll come up smoothly and you're not having to constantly go back push it back down again you know so on and so forth and once you get that backing sheet completely off you start the scary part <laughs> So this took a little bit of time. I cut out quite a bit, um, but I just kept kind of positioning it until I got it to where I wanted it and then laid it down in one fell swoop as to avoid any bubbles, shifting, any of that kind of stuff. So I'm one of those people who likes to hand lay my leopard print. I always have, I'm not sure why. It'd probably be easier if I wrapped my tumblers, but <laughs> I just can't. So I cut this into strips here so that it's easier for me to manage. And I peel off the backing and just start laying the leopard print how I think that I like it. just one coat of epoxy. Once your epoxy is cured, we're gonna go in and start our rim cleaning. So I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and kind of rub it against that top rim there to get off any excess epoxy, glitter. Then I'm gonna take my 60 grit sanding block and angle it downward and start sanding that top rim to expose a little bit of stainless steel for our final coats of epoxy to adhere to. Now I'm gonna go in with a 120 grit sanding block and sand down that rim a little bit more, smooth it out a little bit. The 80 grit is pretty rough. And then I'm gonna do a light sand over the entire tumbler. Take my 91% rubbing alcohol, spray it down, and wipe it with a clean cloth. Now I'm going to take my 0.7 millimeter Posca paint pen and start to outline those leaves and flowers. This is totally personal preference here. I love outlining my flowers. You totally don't have to do this step if you don't want, and you love the way it looks the way it is.
here's the finished product. I love how that white makes the flowers pop. Now I got these floral files from Etsy and I cut them on that same rainbow glittery vinyl that I used for the leopard spots. Now I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and kinda cut them apart and lay the floral elements over top of our bundle that's already on the tumbler to create that layered floral effect. Again, this is totally personal preference. If you don't want to layer your florals and you like what you had there before, you can totally keep it that way and it will be absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, I didn't weed the inside of these little floral bundles because it is such a pain. <laughs> it's so much easier to just trim the pieces that you want, pull up, and then those other pieces just stay put on the backing sheet. It is so convenient. And now we're gonna apply our final two coats of epoxy. And here she is. I absolutely adore this tumbler. It is one that I've made quite a few times and I absolutely love it each and every time. It always turns out a little bit different, but the end result is always stunning. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to see more of my tutorials, hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much again for watching.